everyone we are back in action i've been out for about two week and a half two weeks with my appendix surgery and i've just kind of been getting over everything i took a week off filming just to kind of get my mojo back kind of get back into a routine my energy was like super low I haven't been working as much as my usual week but that's okay like we, we're slowly easing back into everything i don't want to push myself to do too much too soon and then end up the recovery period been even longer than it is because it's four weeks for full recovery um so i can't do any like heavy be lifting or anything um, so that'll be only another like week and five days i think and then i'll be fully back to normal so yeah just really been taking it easy chilling binge watching tv shows and going to work for a couple of hours here and there hello again everyone i've just been to the dfo which is kind of like an outlet store and then i also went a bit crazy it came out on the way home i only went there to get this stick mixer for soups and stuff and i got a bit carried away there's a couple of things that i did actually kind of need but a lot of it is just kind of random stuff that i thought would be cool got this jar i need it for some flour just boring things socks hair got these exfoliation mitts for like when i tan these european pillow cases because i have one european pillow but i don't know where the other one's gone so i've got two and i also got another european pillow and then I got this pillow because I currently hate the pillow that we have on our bed at the moment. It, it, it really bugs me how much I hate it. And then from the DFO, I got these cute Nike shorts. They have like a color thing on the side here. They were, I think, 40 bucks. That's what I've been doing all day. And for the rest of the day, I'm just going to kind of chill out at home. I've been walking a lot, so I kind of need to like sit down and relax. I don't want to push myself to do too much too soon and then burn out. Because I'm technically I'm still recovering from my surgery. I'm only like two and a bit weeks post-op, so I kind of need to be taking it easy. So. <laughs> sound we live across from like a uh, the search rescue place and because of all the rain they've been making those like sandbags to stop it so it's been very loud so it's thursday and i have a day off my first day off in like six days so i had a nice little sleep in me and arch made some pancakes for brekkie and i've just been cleaning up all, all our washing is finally dried because it's been raining so much it's taken like four or five days for our washing to dry so i can finally i did two more loads of laundry so i'm keeping that inside just 
over there. So I'm hoping that dries a bit quicker indoors than outside because it's still going to be raining for the next couple of days. I'm just having some lunch and making a quesadilla and I've just been doing housework listening to some podcasts. Did all the fresh bedding and all that kind of stuff and the plan for the rest of the day is to take it easy. I, I feel like I've been kind of overdoing it a little bit in terms of my recovery from my appendix surgery and I feel like I just need to chill out a little bit. I've been doing, you know, too much bending down, too much like carrying stuff that's probably heavier than I should be and I feel like I need to relax a little bit and kind of, you know, respect my boundaries at the moment, which has been something that's been really difficult for me. Like I'm not used to not being able to do the, everything that I really want to do. So we're taking it easy. I should be recovered by the end of this month. So it's not that much longer and I still can do things, just I can't lift and I can't really bend down all that much. So. <laughs> It is Thursday, it's 1pm, I worked a quick 6 to 9 this morning and again it's raining pretty much all day long so haven't really had a chance to do anything kind of like fun outside but I did drive to West End despite the rain, I had a coffee and I read my book. As I said I was gonna borrow it from the library but believe it or not there was 300 people that were in line to reserve the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo so I couldn't wait that long that would take like years so I just went out and bought it it was just like 20 bucks and I'm about halfway through it and I love it I can't put it down anyway so I had a coffee and I read that at a little cafe and then I got a couple of things from my favorite little bougie supermarket I got some pork belly I got some kale what else i've been obsessed with soup lately and i made some pumpkin soup the other day and then tomato a couple of days ago as well but i love the pumpkin soup so much that i'm gonna make some more today for lunch and then these apples i got them the other day as well they're like i don't know what kind they are but they're like super dark they remind me of the apples from snow white but these are like the best apples that I've ever had in my entire life. They're so crisp and crunchy, especially if you like put them in the fridge, which is superior anyway. Put your apples in the fridge, they taste better. And then I'm gonna make some cupcakes because today's Archer's last day of his job that he's working that he kind of like doesn't really like that much. And he got a new job kind of working as like, he's doing certificate in land, ma land management, something like that. I can't exactly put my finger on what it is, but he does like work for the council, like doing like flood cleanup and like working in like botanical gardens and stuff like that. So he's so excited for that. So I got some stuff and gonna make some cupcakes. It's like a celebration. But yeah. And then I just did a bit of cleaning this morning. I like mopped the floors, vacuumed and stuff. And yeah, the rest of the plans for today is just kind of relax. I'll make the soup, make the cupcakes, bit of a kitchen baking day. I've just been on a baking rampage. I made cupcakes. They're a little bit burnt, but that's okay. And I made some soup and I've got some kale chips in the oven. And the other day I made some like focaccia bread, um, which is really good, which I'm gonna have with my soup. So I just popped it in the microwave. So I'm going to have soup and I've just got some iced tea from the other day.
to Kmart. I got this head to hand mixer for baking and such. And then what else? this thing. And some more spoons. And we got some more small plates. Got this one. It's hard to tell. And then two of these ones, they're like speckled ones. everyone i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and i'll be back to my weekly post from now on so yeah i'll chat to you next week goodbye <laughs>